There is a snowstorm coming to the 412. Now this gives us a perfect opportunity to go out and take pictures while it is snowing. First thing you want to do is go scout some locations that'll be great and frame them up perfectly when that snow is falling. Let's go find some good locations. My first thought when taking a picture while the snow is falling is just monochromatic different shades of white. I've got some trees lined up that are going nice and vertical, and I think once the snow hits the ground, it'll be fun to come back to this spot and just see what it looks like when the trees become more black and white and the ground becomes more white. We could probably get some really nice shades of white as the snow is falling. So you gotta check out locations like this. When the snow starts falling, you want to go and find a nice stream. The stream is going to give you an excellent contrast from the white snow to the darkness of the stream. If you can even find a cool bridge that goes in the background, this is going to be a prime location to take some excellent photographs of the falling snow with a lot of variations from white white to dark blacks. Find a nice shopping area that has lots of colors, a small village as we say here in Pittsburgh, where you can see neon signs, red, yellow, green stoplights, things that'll contrast the white snow, hang out there and take some fun photos. We got the GoPro 10, we're trying it out. Notice the skies are blue, the grass is green. There is no snow falling. It should be here in about four hours. And when that snow starts coming down, I am grabbing my Sony. I will grab my Sony A7C and we're gonna go out and take some pictures while the snow is falling. I just can't wait. see I never made it out of my house to go take pictures while it was snowing because we got about eight to ten inches of snow and I now have to go shovel the driveway. Can you hear what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking. Time lapse baby! Okay, took an hour to shovel my driveway, but I did it. Dad power. Now that I'm free to leave, it's time to head out into the world and take some photos. All right, I made it back to the forest while it is still snowing. Hopefully the snow stays. We're gonna get into the forest, take some nice pictures of the trees. Let's go do it. Come on, join me. We came back to the bridge. We're trying to find and work the angles of the environment, uh, try some different things with the stream, a uh, large depth of field, small depth of field, all kinds of tricks so we can take a good picture while it's snowing. I think we're blowing, the snow is blowing right on the lens. Nice. All right, I got a little snow on my lens cap, which is no big deal. After two hours, I was able to hit up my three locations that I wanted. It is harder than I thought to take pictures of falling snow, but I did it. So let's go run these through Photoshop and see how they turned out. All right, I made it back and I brought the photos into Lightroom. It was so cold, I don't know if you noticed, but I put Lightroom and Photoshop together and I called it Lightshop. 
But before we get into what I learned from taking photos in the snow, let's go ahead and look at three of my favorite photos and how they turned out. Here we have the picture uh, from when I was in the woods. I just like this photo because I was able to find trees that were going vertically with this crazy fallen trunk that is almost going somewhat horizontally and diagonally. You can see the first thing I did is that I made it into a black and white photo. I brought down the highlights, brought up the shadows a little bit so we could see the detail way, way back in the forest, and then of course brought the blacks down. And then under effects, I brought up the texture and the clarity, so it really gave the photo a very nice feel. When it comes to the composition, I just love these branches that are going the opposite direction, especially against all the nice verticals. You've got white whites, you've got black blacks, you have a ton of grays in the middle. I think the photo turned out really well, so I'm glad that I parked my car and jumped into the woods and got this. If I had to give this photo a name, I think I would call it Loki's Lost Horns, because it looks like Loki's crazy headdress fell off in the woods and it's just laying there. Let's go look at picture number two from when I went down by the streams. Once I brought this picture into Lightroom, you can see I just tweaked it a little bit, right? I brought the shadows out some more, I wanted to bring the blacks down, and then of course under texture and clarity to really make those snowflakes pop in the background, I raised it up a little bit. What I love about this photo was the composition. Look, I put some green grass way in the foreground, which means my eyes kind of drift to the right, and then they go along the stream, and the stream brings me all the way down to that nice bridge. When we get down to the bridge, we see that it's actually snowing. We can see the snowflakes, and it's just really nice. I like the way it turned out. We have the whites, we have the browns, but we have the green in there and the snowflakes. If I had to give this photograph a name, I think I would call it November Snow, because this looks like the first snow that would fall on the ground, because you can still see a little bit of the grass. Let's go to my third favorite photo. For this one, remember, we went into town, we went and found a little village, and we were looking to put colors together. Okay, here is the picture. You'll notice right away that once I brought it into Lightroom, Right, we lowered the highlights, we brought out the shadows again, we really tried to increase the whites so you could see the snowflakes. That was half the fun of shooting while it is snowing. We brought the blacks down to give it some contrast and then per usual to make everything kind of pop, we brought up the clarity and the texture and we raised the dehaze a little bit to kind of look through it. When I look at this picture, I shot this at a very shallow depth of field at a 2.8, and you can see that it stops, and this really makes the snowflakes appear bigger. What I like is we've got the two tire tracks coming at us, and the composition is fun as the tire tracks take us in to the red car on the left, which adds a little color. We've got the two yellow headlights coming at us as if we're about to hit us, and then you can see all the snowflakes falling, which was the assignment. It brings out the feelings of the first snow kind of falling. If, if I had to give this picture a title, I would call it, And So It Begins. There's always that first snowflake that falls and then the second one, And So It Begins. What did I learn while I was out there trying to take pictures while it is snowing? I learned that I am literally like a kid who enjoys sledding, but now I'm a little older. I still love the feel of the snowflakes on my face and of being outside in nature. From a photography standpoint, I learned you really want the big fat snowflakes to be falling, but if they're not, then one of the things you gotta do is find a background that's not the same color, right? Something that's green or dark as in the road or just evergreens or a bridge. Then if you can have a long focal length and maybe a shallow depth of field that's really going to bring the snowflakes out in your photos. So whoever looks at the photo knows that they took this photo while it was snowing. Remember to like, comment, subscribe in the description below. Ring that bell. Always take your camera with you because you never know when there's going to be a nice shot or if it is going to be snowing out and you can take some pictures while it's snowing. My name is Oliver Wea. Thanks for taking pictures with me today and we'll see you in the next one.